This is our Hobie cat. Four of us bought it a couple of years ago for a grand with the intention of sailing it. The problem is it's 20 years old and every time you use it something breaks so we just never use it. It's sat here for sale. No one's bought it. So I came up with the idea of turning it into a cruiser kite boat. Add an outboard to the back so it's self-sufficient um, because part of the problem is if you just attach a kite to it it's limited to where you can use it quite often you've got to get out the harbour to a beach somewhere where you can actually launch a kite and having the engine gives just gives you so much more flexibility so first things first we designed an outboard bracket that with the help of my dad on his computer um, and then we sent it off and then we got that built and this just came in today this is the bracket and basically the bracket it's going to go on this cross section right here. I'm going to bolt that there. Then the engine will go on the back of there. And then once we've got that sorted, we've got the engine on the back. It's going to be a great little cruiser. I reckon it'll go pretty quick. These hulls are quite efficient. It's the Hobie 18. So it's the bigger, flatter rocker hulls. So yeah, once we've got the engine on, we basically just strap a webbing strap around the front cross, cross brace. And it's a kite boat. I'm really excited about the potential of this. I've been dreaming about a kite boat for ages and it just crossed my mind one day. Just got this sat here. Let's get some use out of it. So first things first, I've got to take all the spars and everything off it. Time for a time lapse. Just like that, taking everything off it in about half an hour. Gonna tidy it up a little bit, but it's gonna happen pretty quickly. It's actually so easy. If you guys have a Hobie Cat lay around, do this. But wait, you'll see how cool it is. There we go. Nice. Right, as you can see, we've got the bracket, we've got some bolts, we've got some wooden packers. The last thing I want is this thing to come undone while we're out there. But actually, it's on. The moment of truth is, can it take my weight? I'm gonna put all my weight on it. I figure that's gotta be like an engine ready. Will it break? And my feet were off the floor. It works. It's bloody chucking it down again. Day two, pouring rain. I'm so close to getting it finished, look. This is it. Bracket on, check it out. I'm gonna persevere. My drill's getting wet, shit. Job done. Got a bracket on there. Stoked. Yes, gonna come back later when it's not raining. Let's go. We back got rained off again earlier so I'm gonna lift that on the boat might actually try and launch it tonight um, got to try and put the rudders on I'm slightly worried that the rudders are gonna hit the engine slight oversight bloody hell it's good it looks sick. Unless this whole thing snaps, it's not going anywhere. Touch wood. But next up, we've got to see if the tillers fit. If the tillers fit, then it's game on. <laughs> Hello, dude. Right, classic, the rudders don't fit. Problem is, the engine is right where the rudder arm, you've got two rudders. Um, so when I move it, it touches. I was gonna rush to try and bodge it for tonight, but I think I'm gonna do it properly. So there's one thing I've learned in my old age is do it once, do it properly. So Chris found a selection of tubing. One of them just happens to be perfect.
ready to go tomorrow potentially today's the big day i can't tell you how excited i am um we got the the tiller extension on last night stoked with how good that's working brackets all ready to go all we need to do is put the engine on and make a little mount for the kite so i'm gonna do that right now and then we're going on it <laughs>
if we get it right, I could potentially... I could get it on the beach, I reckon. Just keep going forward, slowly. Oh, perfection. Well, I am buzzing. That was so much fun. I'm so happy it worked. We actually clocked 18 knots on the first go with just a 12 meter kite. At one point, the whole boat came right up. Um, yeah, the engine mount worked great. Uh, we, I've got a long shaft outboard and it was a little bit too much drag, the kind of the back of the boat. So, but all in all, it definitely worked. New tiller extension worked. There's a couple of adaptions that we can do to improve the design. But overall, I'm really stoked and I think it just has so much potential. Um, kite boats were first kind of done like 10 years ago and no one's really done much. And I think there's a massive amount of potential for kite boats. I'd love to add hydrofoils to it. So if anyone's out there that wants to help me, let's add some foils to it. But yeah, I also want to try with longer lines, like 80 meter lines. Um, with a big kite, because considering we're only on a 12 meter kite, we we're doing 80 knots, that's pretty bloody good. So, all in all, massive success, super stoked. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Smash the like button if you want to see more kite boat action. See you in the next video. Peace out.